Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. I've just paid off £20,000 worth of credit card debt and now I'm on a journey towards becoming financially independent. After reading Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey, I've been following the seven baby steps to becoming financially free. And I'm now on baby step number three, which involves saving an emergency fund. In this video, I'm going to talk through what an emergency fund is, how much money is needed for an emergency fund, where to keep it, and I'll also talk you through my plans for how I'm going to save an emergency fund. If that sounds interesting to you, then please keep watching. So what is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is essentially the same as saving money for a rainy day. It's money that's stashed away specifically to be used in an emergency or in time of financial distress. This could include things like big life changes such as losing a job suddenly, unexpected illness or anticipated expenses. An emergency fund isn't something that should be used for expected expenses such as car insurance, MOT or for non-essential expenses uh, such as impromptu holidays. So these kind of things can be saved for instead via things like sinking funds or they can be incorporated into a monthly budget. So why is it important to have an emergency fund? I think the last year has kind of shown us that nothing is truly guaranteed. Many businesses had to close for months unexpectedly and some even closed permanently. There was a sense of panic amongst some employees and the idea really did hit home that your next paycheck can never really be guaranteed. It would always be good to have a financial buffer in case the unexpected did happen and you did perhaps lose your job. This would allow for necessary expenses to be covered, such as food, housing, clothing, for at least a few months whilst you look for another job. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me during this pandemic that doctors have such good job security and that we will always be needed, but I still think it's something that doctors should concern themselves with too. I'm very grateful for the level of job security that comes with being a doctor, but honestly, who knows how long that's going to last. There are many advancements in technology every day, and no one knows who, what the future holds. As I said, the last year has just taught me that nothing is truly guaranteed. Another reason to have an emergency fund is that it really does help you to stay out of debt. If you were to have an emergency that cropped up and you didn't have any money stashed away, or you might have to rely on overdrafts or credit cards or maybe even high interest loans to pay for this. On top of everything else you might be going through at this time, get, getting into debt should not be another worry that's added to your list and it really does not help when you're trying to be financially independent. So how much money should you save towards an emergency fund? So Dave Ramsey in his book advised an emergency fund of between three to six months worth of expenses which I've heard many financially savvy people also recommend too. Though this does depend entirely in your own personal circumstances, what your expenses are and how many dependents you have. This also depends on the kind of job you have and how easy you think it might be to find another one with your given skill set. Those who have dependents might want more of an emergency fund and those without might not. If you have a quite a specialist or niche job, you might want to think about having more of an emergency fund as well, because it might take you longer to find such a niche and specialist job. If you have a partner or parent who might be able to support you financially through any kind of emergency situation, you might want to have less of an emergency fund than others. It's not really an exact science and it's kind of really up to you at the end of the day what you think would give you peace of mind. So where should you keep your emergency fund? You need to be able to access your emergency fund straight away if you need to. There's no point in tying it up in bonds or putting it in an account that might charge you for withdrawals or that you might not have access to for a number of years. The whole point of this fund is that the money is quick um, to access and you have it to hand if something unexpected happens. Uh, and you know, it's unexpected so you won't know how quickly you're gonna need it best place to put it is in a high interest savings account. Try to find the bank account with the highest interest rate going at the time uh, using Google searches and comparison websites such as moneysupermarket.com. 
This is not to be greedy, but it's because money depreciates over time with inflation. So as time goes on, your money will have less value when it's sitting in a savings account due to inflation. Therefore, getting the best interest rate, or as close to inflation as possible, is key to ensuring you're not actually losing money in the long term. So let's talk about my emergency fund. I've decided to save only three months worth of expenses as my job as a junior doctor is quite stable and I can always do some ad hoc or locum shifts in other hospitals even if I do, did lose my current full-time job. If I was no longer able to be a doctor for some reason, I also do have many transferable skills and I have a degree before I studied medicine as well so I could technically get a job in that area as well. So I think for me, finding another job three months is a good buffer um, for me. Also, if I wanted to, I could move back in with my parents to keep my costs low. Currently, my expenses are roughly £1,650, which seems like quite a lot when I think about it. Um, I do have a video detailing my expenses as a junior doctor, which I will link in the description below. Um, this includes my rent for a one-bedroom flat, a council tax, utility bills, Wi-Fi, phone bill, petrol, uh, transportation, my gym membership, food, toiletries, um, and a little bit of spending money. Um, so if I were to become unemployed, I think I could definitely cut these expenses down to at least £1,000, potentially more if I was able to leave my flat and move into a house share. I would also sell my car and cancel my gym membership if that ever happened too. Therefore, my goal for my emergency fund is a total of £4,000. My aim is to start saving for this emergency fund properly as soon as possible. Um, I intend to open a high interest savers account and um, I'll post regular updates of my saving amount as well, just so we can see my emergency fund grow together. So I hope this video has helped you in some way uh, or inspired you to start building an emergency fund. If you have any other tips uh, towards saving this, please leave a comment below um, and if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos about personal finance and financial freedom. Thank you so much for watching.